Hello everyone, this is Landon Martin with uh, COP3330, and this will be a more detailed explanation of friend functions and how they work and like their applications and stuff. So, I want to begin with a simple definition. What is a friend function? Friend functions are functions that can still access the private data of a class without being a part of that class explicitly. So they are non-member functions. Normally, only member functions can see and use the private data of a class. Friend functions break this rule by allowing a non-member to see and access the private data, but only if that class says it's okay by using the keyword friend. The perfect analogy that I can think of is a house, right? A house has private bedrooms, you know, like bathrooms and closets and etc living rooms and all that normally only family members which in this case are member functions would be allowed to access those rooms a stranger can't access your bedroom uh, they wouldn't be allowed inside you wouldn't let them in however a close family friend who doesn't live in your house he's not a part of your family in this case that would be the outside function it's given permission to enter the private bedrooms and other parts of the house because they are a friend of the family and that's where you use the friend keyword. So once again, you wouldn't let a stranger into your house, but you'd let a close friend into your house. So I want to give an example here. I have class A and class B, each with a private integer named value A and value B, respectively. I'm going to create two objects, one of each class, object A and object B, representing their respective classes. Object A holds a value of 5 and object B holds a value of 10. Now if I wanted to add the private values of these together, because if you remember val the integers value A and value B are private, I would need to access the private section of each class. This is where a friend function comes in. By having the same friend function declared in each class, I am able to access the private member of both and use them. So let me head over to my .h file real quick here. I have class A, which has you know a friend function called some value, and its two parameters are class A and class B. And then I have the same exact function declared as a friend in class B. This allows this function some value to access the private members of class B and the private members of class A. And some value simply returns A value plus B value. So if A is 5 and B is 10, when printing out some value, it should print out 15. Let's run this and see if that works. There you go. You can see 15 right here. So, once again, a friend function are non-member functions that are allowed to access the private data of a class. Now, friend functions also allow for better and more convenient uses of operator overloading. Um, a member function, operator overload, assumes that the left-hand side of the operator, so it's ever on the left of a plus or a multiplication or a division operator, it assumes that that side will be of the member function's type, right? So if I had class A plus class B and my operator overload was a part of class A, it would assume that the left-hand side of this addition would always be a type of, a, uh, of class A. If you wanted the left-hand side to be a type that is not the object type, like an integer or a double or a float or another class, that member overload would not work. A friend function allows you to have any data type on either side of the operator, whether or not as a primitive type, like an integer or double, or a custom type, like an object of another class. I have a video going into more depth of operator overloading um, that should be in the same announcement as the rest of my videos here that I'm, I'm posting. And there will be code for that that I will post as well. Um, I go into a little bit more detail on why friend functions are useful for operator overloading. Um, 
So I highly recommend you go watch that if you want to know how friend functions work with operator overloading. I hope that this was a good explanation, a basic explanation of friend functions. Just remember that they're non-member functions that can still access the private data of a class, class without being a part of that class. And you use that with the keyword friend. And you don't put that in public or private, you put it outside of those because they're a non-member. If you guys have any questions about this, feel free to email me and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.